out my right side. I got an enemy in the tree line. I'm letting the gunner work right now. Bam, 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 bam. He's working. He's working. I'm out. Hey, I have the honor today of flying with a Vietnam veteran who flew the OH-6 as a scout pilot in Vietnam, just like this one we're flying right now. I'm Bruce Hafner, and this is that Chopper Guy Show. Dave, what do you do? Uh, I'm an engineer here, and uh, also an uh, instructor pilot. Well, good for you. So you get to fly these things. I do. God, best job on earth. Best job on earth. Yeah, it's awesome. Fascinated by his book, Low Level Hell, MD Helicopters pilot Dave Salem and I knew we had to fly with Vietnam scout pilot Hugh Mills. I love these things. I, I've told my wife I want to be buried in one. <laughs> How did you dismiss the thoughts of dying while you were carrying out your mission orders? I was a 20-year-old first lieutenant. I was single. I was flying the finest ship the Army had. And uh, in my world, I was bulletproof, invisible, and immortal. What was going through your mind the first time you were getting shot at while flying? I have a vivid memory of the first time I was shot at. Because I'm looking right at the gun, I could see the muzzle flash. And uh, it didn't register for a second that that guy's shooting a lot of bullets at me. Uh, and uh, finally the uh, instructor who was in the left seat said, you know, we, we really ought to move. <laughs> so, so I did. Uh, the Cobra covered me. If we had enemy troops or if we took fire, we'd drop a red smoke uh, and then get out of the area and let the Cobra do the, the heavy work. So it was dangerous. It was life or death. You didn't dwell on it. If you dwelled on it, uh, you made mistakes. And frankly, at that age, you, you don't think about stuff like that. I, I, love, I love the environment. I love the low-level environment. So we used a spiral pattern uh, looking for anything from footprints to uh, enemy structures. And then when we found them, we would, uh, we would address them. And we'd, we'd launch two teams in the morning, one Cobra, one Loach. And so the first flight I ever had as an Army aviator, uh, pre-Army aviator, was in the OH-6. And then when I got to Vietnam, this is what I wanted to fly. Now, another little tidbit, this actual aircraft I flew in 1972. This is the real deal. Um, Over 50 years after Hughes Vietnam tours, he was a guest at MD Helicopter Factory. He shared his love of the Loach with the MD crew, and it seemed that Hughes' career came full circle as he thanked MD Helicopters for continuing to make the aircraft that kept Hugh alive flying in a war. Honestly, the, the best memory had nothing to do with the war and nothing to do with flying. You're, you're in a unit with about 35 pilots. You're in a fraternity. And uh, the manner in which we screwed with each other on a daily basis was among my best memories. You'd go out and take a shower. You'd walk back in your hooch. You're still dripping wet and your roommate pours a can of uh, talcum powder in the fan <laughs> and you look like the Michelin man. Uh, and things like that, it, it, every day it was Animal House. It, it was those kinds of activities at night and that very same guy that screwed with you the night before uh, is coming in to rescue you the next day. And we remain lifelong friends today. We're close, to, it would be an understatement.